is this okay for me to be down here? Because I'm going to get real with people. Okay, Bing. All right, we're going to get real. A lot of you guys really came out when we talked about new sketchbook syndrome, and you were saying you had it too. And I thought, I'm not a nut alone. I mean, I'm still a nut, uh, but I mean, uh, we are all in this together. So I realized that because so many of you come out and said you had new sketchbook syndrome too, it made me feel more comfortable to come out with another problem. Um, and this one is, this one's personal. We're gonna be talking, we're gonna be talking pretty personal here, okay? I'm talking about our tweaking disorder, or ATD as um, the professionals call it. Our tweaking disorder is when you ask yourself, is this done, and you, and you keep tweaking. You keep tweaking, you keep, uh, what is this, this line need to be a little darker, you become a tweaker. I, no joke, had an oil painting on an easel for close to three years, Olivia, about three years. And what happens when you leave a piece on your easel? Well, unless you have a dozen easels, which even me, who I guess I could if I wanted, uh, have a dozen easels, I still have one at my, you know, at my house, and it just sat there. And what did that mean? That meant I did no, no artwork. I'm losing my words. No artwork. I didn't do any artwork because that piece was taking up my art real estate for oil painting. I shouldn't say I did no artwork. I had a sketching table I could have gone to. But anyway, look. This is a real thing, and I, I just, I'm vulnerable now because you know I have art tweaking disorder. And like new sketchbook syndrome, I just wanted to tell you that there are ways that I have coped with it to, you can force finish, that's what I call it, the force finisher, do the Star Wars thing. Thank you. You can force finish a piece because the bottom line is when you look at a piece and you're tweaking, you're tweaking, you're tweaking, you're gonna risk ruining it you're going to keep asking yourself, is it finished? And the reality is nobody knows, not even you, if it's finished or not. And you'll never know. You're just going to have to live with that. So let's talk about these coping skills, okay? How you can force finish your art. First thing I like to do to force myself to finish a piece of art is just sign it. It gives it a sense of completion. So here we go. Sit, name's on it, should be done. Is that good enough for you? All right, I'll take a little further. Put a little date on it here, I think it's the 26th. 2016 at the time of filming. Now, for me, usually because of my OCD on top of my ATD, artist tweaking disorder, I don't want to go back. If I've already put a date on it, then if I, if I change it now, past today, I'll, I'll have a lie. And I'm not going to, you know, like cross this off and write something else. So I have to further, if, if this isn't good enough to stop me, I have to further force finish this piece. Okay. Now we're dealing right here with a charcoal drawing, put some varnish on it, spray varnish it. I would varnish for you, but then we'd all be high again. So you get it. It's just, once it's varnished, it's going to be very hard to tweak it without really, really ruining it. It's going to force you to finish that art. But some of you out there might say, well, I'll just put some workable fixative on it, and then maybe I'll tweak it some more. You need to move on. How do you move on further? Okay. This is it. These are your final options. This is your final answer. Frame it, because if you're so much of a nut that you go into that frame, you cut off the backing, and you change it again, you really, really probably wanted to make the change. Actually, if you do that, you weren't happy, and I'm glad you're happy now. Sell it, give it away, throw it away, whatever you need to do to move on. That's about it. I just wanted to share with you art tweaking disorder. I'm coming out to see if anybody else has art tweaking disorder. ATD. If you have ATD, tell me how bad it is, and if any of these things will help. Oh, boy. How many disorders do I got? Let's find out. And see. Get to notarize, whatever the hell you have to do. Notarize your art. That's just what I want. My signature and then a big notary seal right next to it. That's, that really, uh, I think it adds some value.